क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इन फिगर वन डी इज पैरल टू ओ क्यू डी इज पैरल टू ओ क्यू एंड डी एफ इज पैरल टू ओ आर शो दैट ई एफ इज पैरल टू क्यू आर सो लेट एस कंसिडर द ट्राइंगल पी ओ क्यू सो इन ट्राइंगल पी ओ क्यू सिस डीई इज पैरल टू ओ क्यू सो यूजिंग प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी थोरम सो पीई अपॉन ई क्यू पीई अपॉन ई क्यू इज इक्वल टू पीडी अपॉन डीओ पीडी अपॉन डीओ से इक्वेशन वन सो नाउ इन ट्राइंगल पी ओ आर सो इन ट्राइंगल पी ओ आर सिंस डी एफ इज पैरल टू ओ आर एंड यूजिंग प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी थोर इन ट्राइंगल पी ओ आर सिंस डी एफ इज पैरल टू ओ आर सो यूजिंग प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी थ्योरम सो पी एफ अपॉन एफ आर पी एफ अपॉन एफ आर इज इक्वल टू पी डी अपॉन डीओ पी डी अपॉन डीओ इक्वेशन टू नाउ कंपेयरिंग इक्वेशन वन एंड टू सो पी डी अपॉन डीओ इज सेम सो पीई अपॉन ई क्यू इज इक्वल टू पी एफ अपॉन एफ आर सो कंपेयरिंग इक्वेशन वन एंड इक्वेशन टू सो पीई अपॉन EQ is equal to PF upon FR. So when PE upon EQ is equal to PF upon FR, so it means that reverse of proportionality term EF is parallel to QR. So EF is parallel to QR due to reverse of the प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी थ्योरम रिवर्स ऑफ प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी थ्योरम नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इन फिगर टू सो दिस इज योर फिगर टू ए बी एंड सी आर पॉइंट्स ऑन ओपी ओ क्यू एंड ओ आर A, B, and C are points on OP, OQ, and OR respectively. So that AB is parallel to PQ, AB is parallel to PQ, and AB is parallel to PQ, and your AC is parallel to PR. So AC is parallel to AC is parallel to PR. Now show that BC is parallel to QR. We need to show that BC is parallel to QR. So in triangle POQ, since AB is parallel to is parallel to PQ, so using proportionality term. So in triangle OPQ, since AB is parallel to PQ, so using proportionality theorem. So OA upon AB, OA upon AB is equal to OB upon BQ. See equation one. So similarly in triangle OPR. So since AC is parallel to PR, so using proportionality term. So in triangle OPR, since AC is parallel to PR, so using proportionality term. 
O A upon A B is equal to O C upon C R. Equation two. Now comparing equation one and two. So O A upon A B is common. So O B upon B Q is equal to O C upon C R. So comparing equation one and equation two. So O B upon B Q is equal to O C upon C R. So O B upon B Q is equal to O C upon C R. So reverse of proportionality theorem B C is equal to parallel to Q R. So B C is parallel to Q R due to reverse of proportionality. Theorem. Now question number four. A B C D is a trapezium. So A B C D is a trapezium in which A B is parallel to B C. A B is parallel to B C and its diagonal intersect each other at O. So diagonals intersect at O. Show that A O divided by B O is equal to C O divided by D O. So let's draw a line. See E F passing through O, which is parallel to B C. So let us draw a line E F passing through O, such that E F is parallel to B C. Now in triangle A C D. Since EO is parallel to BC, so using proportionality theorem, so in triangle ADC, since EO is parallel to to DC, because EF is parallel to DC, so EO is also parallel to DC. It is the segment on this line. So using proportionality theorem. So AE upon ED is equal to AO upon OC. Say equation one. Now in triangle ABD. So using so since EO is parallel to DC and DC is parallel to AB, which is given. So in triangle ABD. Since EO is parallel to DC and DC is parallel to AB, given so parallel to parallel, so that's why EO is parallel to AB. So thus, using proportionality theorem. So A E upon E D is equal to B O upon O D. A E upon E D is equal to B O upon O D. Say equation two. Now comparing equation one and two, A E upon E D is common, so it means that A O upon A C is equal to B O upon A D. So comparing equation one and equation two, so AO upon OC is equal to BO upon OD. So AO upon OC. Okay. So what we can do is that let's take this BO to left hand side and CO to OC to right hand side. So AO upon BO is equal to OC upon OD and AO upon BO is equal to OC. OC we can also write CO and OD we can also write DO. So hence proof. 
Now the diagonals of a quadrilateral ABCD intersect each other at point O so that AO upon BO is equal to CO upon DO show that ABCD is a trapezium. So let A, B, C, D is a A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral whose diagonals intersect at O. Let A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral whose diagonals intersect at O. Now let us draw a line E O which is parallel to A B. Okay, so let us draw a line. Let us draw a line E O such that EO is parallel to AB. Now in triangle ABC, since EO is parallel to AB, so using proportionality theorem, so in triangle ABC, since EO is parallel to AB, so using proportionality theorem, AE upon EC is equal to BO upon OC. Now what is given is, it is given that AO upon BO, say this is equation 1. So AO upon BO is equal to CO upon DO. So, AO upon BO is equal to CO upon CO upon DO. So, let's do one thing. Uh, let's take this CO to left hand side. So this will be AO upon BO of CO is equal to BO upon DO. Okay, so so A, B, this is a C and this is B. So this is equal to O, B upon A, E upon E, D is equal to B, O upon O, D. Okay, now let's compare B, O upon, so this can also be written as AO upon CO is equal to BO upon OD, say equation 2. Now comparing equation 1 and equation 2, BO upon OD is same. Comparing equation 1 and equation 2, so we get AE upon ED is equal to AO upon CO. AE upon ED is equal to AO upon CO. So that is the reverse of functionality. So EO is parallel to DC. So using reverse of proportionality theorem. So EO is parallel to DC. 
Now since EO is parallel to AB and EO is parallel to DC, it means that AB is parallel to DC. Now since EO is parallel to AB as per construction and EO is parallel to DC proved above. So AB is parallel to DC and in trapezium one of the pair of the sides is parallel opposite pair. Now since of since one of the opposite pair of sides is parallel. So A, B, C, D is a trapezium. So using proportionality theorem, so we can solve all of these questions. So in proportionality theorem, you know that when the two sides are parallel, then the, the, the other two sides are in the same ratio.